Hey you guys, what's up? It's your girl Tamaria Lakay coming to you with another video on my sister locks. I recently started documenting my journey where I go from a 4C loose natural to a locked natural. So if you are interested in natural hair content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Now today I just wanted to come and do a video basically over my sister locks of course. Um, if you didn't know, I got my locks in installed by two people. My consultant did the right side of my hair and her associate did the other side. So I got a comment a little while ago asking to do like a comparison video because there are some differences. Pretty much this side, my favorite side, it's pretty much perfect. I don't really notice anything wrong with my locks. I don't really see any issues or anything like that with my locks on this side. But on this side, we got a little bit to talk about. So that's basically what I'm gonna be discussing in this video. If you would like to see, go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so right off the back, after I got my locks installed, one of the first differences that I noticed in my locks was this side that my consultant did. It had a lot of loose ends. There are some locks on this side that are pretty much locked all the way down to the end, but there's also a lot of locks that have at least an inch, if not more, of loose ends. On this side, I would say I have loose ends, but it's like, it's not even measurable. Like, it's like that much. Like literally, like that much loose end compared to like this much loose ends on this side. Now the next thing that I noticed throughout my lock journey, because it's almost two months that I've been sister locked, is that on this side of my hair, I have a lot of locks that are potentially going to need to be repaired. Like, when I say a lot, I don't mean like 20 and 30. I only mean like probably like five to eight locks that are going to need some attention somewhere along the line during one of my reties. I tried to get my husband to take some pictures of my locks that I felt like they needed some attention or that I just felt like they were off and I will insert them. But something else that I noticed before we get into those pictures is just the fact that my locks on this side, they don't feel as smooth. Like when I run my finger down the lock, it definitely doesn't feel as smooth as it does when I run my finger down on this side. Now, as you know, when you get your sister locks and you start to wash your hair and they start to swell up a little bit, the locks look like little tiny braids. So on this side, it feels like, you know, I have the braid there, but it's so tight. It's really, really tight there's like no space it's not budging it's not moving some of them aren't that way but most of them are that way on this side now on this side yes I saw the pattern of the little lock or the little braid in my lock but when I run my fingers down the cuticles of my hair it feels soft it feels gentle it doesn't feel like ripply on this side it's just like a lot of texture it doesn't even like feel like hair to be honest it doesn't really feel like hair on this side but this side it's like it's off you see it has that bounce and then this side is just kind of like what's going on what I've noticed on this side which is actually a positive I feel like because of the fact that they are not so tight on this side I have noticed a little bit more of swelling than what I noticed on this side so I feel like that makes sense because the braids weren't as tight so of course they're gonna start to swell more before these start to swell which are really tightly locked um some of the issues that I've experienced with this side of my head was that I do have some locks that are bunched and that's where I'll go ahead and insert the picture. So basically you see my lock starts and then there's a little part of my lock that gets really, really thin. Like really thin, it looks like it's gonna break off and then it gets a little bit bigger towards the end. So basically in between where it starts to get thin and then that part where it is thinned out is the slippage and then that part on the bottom is the bunching. So I have about three or four locks like that and then I have some other locks that I feel like they don't necessarily need to be repaired but I can definitely tell that my loctician she wasn't being focused she wasn't really I don't know if she wasn't paying attention to what she was doing or if she was just tired because it did take a long time to do my hair but there's some locks that look like 
So when you look at your lock, it's supposed to be straight from the root all the way down to the end. But there's some locks that I have that are like scrunching up in certain areas. They're scrunching up and it's because she didn't like put all the hair into the lock as it should be. And so there's like some locks that have like pieces of hair that didn't get braided in. So it's causing the lock to kind of shrivel up in some spots if that makes any sense. And so what I'm gonna end up doing is on the few that I found like that I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that hair and then it'll stretch out because I don't really feel like that's something I need to pay her to repair because I see what the issue is it's just she didn't put all of the hair within the lock but I hope the picture really kind of shows you what I'm talking about I did stretch it out I should have took a picture with it stretched out and then with it unstretched so that you can really see how that lock is bending in certain areas and um, something that doesn't have to do with my loctician and her side but this side is definitely my my shorter side. When I got my locks installed, I had between nine inches to 12 inches of hair in certain areas. So I would say like this crown part of my head, kind of like towards the back, was the shortest of my locks. And then in the back, I don't know, for some reason my hair grows extremely fast in the back. And then probably the front was about like 10 inches or so. So that's another difference in my locks is that the lengths are like all over the place. Not sure how that's gonna turn out in the future. What else? is a different. So that was pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also hit that share button. Share it to any of your social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I'm not choosy. Don't forget, I'm leaving videos down here for you guys to go ahead and check out next. So just click on one of those boxes and then you'll definitely be seeing me in the next one. Bye.